Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Bulgarian Defense Minister Todor Tagrev announced in early February 2024 that the first shipments of Bulgarian BTR-60 petabytes armored personnel carriers, APCs, a local adaptation of the Russian BTR-60, to Ukraine are imminent. According to Tagrev's interview on BTV channel, the initial deliveries had already departed Bulgaria some time ago. Bulgaria is set to dispatch 100 APCs, specifically the BTR-60 models, to Ukraine, marking a significant decision following extensive political deliberations in Bulgaria. President Ruman Radev's veto against the transfer was overturned after a period of debate. These BTR-60s, previously utilized by Bulgaria's internal forces and not in pristine condition, are deemed valuable to Ukraine, which faces a pressing demand for military assets amidst ongoing conflicts. Ukrainian defense authorities are anticipated to refurbish these APCs to better suit various operational requirements. Historically and culturally linked to Moscow but also a member of the EU and NATO, Bulgaria initially refrained from providing military assistance to Ukraine before shifting its stance in June under a new pro-European government. The genesis of this aid can be traced back to the Bulgarian parliament's November 3, 2022, vote approving military support to Ukraine, with further details to be clarified in subsequent months. Since the onset of the Ukrainian conflict, Bulgaria has contributed to Ukraine's defense efforts by dispatching an undisclosed number of T-72M1 tanks via the Czech Republic and supplying 152mm and 155mm artillery shells. The latter were procured by the United States from Bulgaria and began delivery in March 2023. This provision of vehicles to Ukraine signals a notable departure in Bulgaria's position, showcasing its solidarity with Ukraine amidst ongoing strife. Moreover, it represents a strategic commitment from Bulgaria, potentially paving the way for reciprocal military aid or equipment from allies like the United States. Officially, the delay in APC delivery is attributed to the substantial logistical expenses associated with transporting the vehicles to Ukraine. The Bulgarian government is actively seeking financial aid to cover these transport costs, hoping for assistance from NATO or other allies of Ukraine to facilitate this essential military support. Alongside the logistical and financial obstacles, the delay underscores the challenges nations face in supporting Ukraine with military equipment, in addition to political considerations. That's all for now. See you later.